Well, once again, here we go with another antenna. This is the uh, Crushcraft AR-10 10 meter antenna. I plan on doing this in spring, but uh, I tend to be a big baby and I want, to, I want to do things now. I hate talking about or wanting to do something, so got to go ahead and do it. Ice up on the roof and everything. <laughs> so I didn't do a step-by-step -step, uh, this build. I just showed little clips along the way. Thought it'd be kind of interesting, maybe, to somebody out there. I was thinking about getting this antenna. And then, uh, yeah, got up there on the roof and ran some coax. And so, <laughs> anyhow, sit back, relax, and enjoyed the, uh, enjoyed the, the mayhem here. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. We came in, the Crushcraft AR-10. Right now, I have it uh, flipped upside down because then I'm going to show my shipping address and all that stuff. So, uh, I have it on my white floor. Show some contrast when I open it up instead of being on top of my dingy bench. And for, if anybody's in, uh, or curious, there it is. Total package length. About four feet. It's about like about a little over eight inches wide. About two and a half inches deep. In case you're curious there. So, alright, let's pop this puppy open and see what's inside. Alright, there it is. I didn't touch anything. I just merely opened up the box. I'm doing this so uh, somebody else gets this. They know what to expect. Didn't touch anything. That's how it is. Shipped. Not much to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay all these parts out. On the floor. Make sure everything's there. Alright, I'll be back with uh, the parts layout. Okay, here we go. I did nothing more than take it out of the box and lay the parts out. Like right, that. I'll go through slow. In case anybody is interested in buying this antenna, they know exactly what to or inspect. <laughs> expect. I'll do a zoom in here in one second. That's everything. Let me get in tight here. This is in one bag. All that stuff was in this big bag here. And the small bag. And that. Go slow here. And once more, this is silicone. Okay, moving along. And then there's the owner's manual, or the uh, manual. All right, and there's the out of the box view. All the parts laid out. All right, gonna do another view for you. These aren't meant to give you exact <laughs> dimensions, it's just an idea. So you know what to expect. So there you go. All right, I decided I'm gonna put this up here today. It was down to 10 degrees last night, but it's supposed to warm up. <laughs> so it might be that uh, yeah, that idiot up on the roof, you know, <laughs> freezing conditions. But all right, let me get back with you. Here, keep noticing some things. So it's just just documenting. I'm not moaning or complaining. But see how crooked that is. Well, a little workmanship issue there. So there's that. Just to be aware of. Okay, I'll take another angle on that. I hope my phone doesn't flip. But, uh, alright, there's that. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, that's what I got so far here. It's coming along. 
bird's eye view here. Exactly how the instructions say. Of course, I didn't do the exact measurement yet. That's just the uh, starting point. You see there. Okay. All right. Moving right along. And yeah, moving along. All right. Get the stub put on. Kind of hard to see there, but uh, you got the silicone just like the instruction in uh, Mino says. Got the silicone put on there. Make sure no water can get in. Only use half the package. And got that boot slit all the way up tight against that lower bracket. There it is so far. All right, moving on. All right, here we are on the other side of the basement. I have it somewhat pieced together here. So you go down there like that. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot for the center portion of the 10 meter band. So I'm gonna have that overall length about 192. Hang on here, where's that? If you don't know the 10 meter band, it's right there. So my license class allows me to use every bit of it. So around the, around the center portion. So 192. And this is going in a location where it's easily accessible. If I don't like it, just climb up there and change it, you know. Just the uh, overall length. Includes the tuning, tuning section there, so I'm not too worried about uh, changing my mind. But uh, okay, the measurement is being taken from right there at the top of that top of that bracket I'll go all the way down here it's about 192 right around in there now I, I do have an antenna tuner I like to avoid it when I can I'd rather have everything resonant it's just me but uh alright there you go I'm gonna have to yeah, I'll figure out my coax situation. Crap, forgot about that. <laughs> but uh, all right, let me get some coax, at least a decent enough run to test this. And I'm gonna put this up on a uh, a temporary antenna mount. It used to be an old TV antenna mount from the previous owners here. But it's a three bracket system. Plenty sturdy enough for this. And then, uh, all right, I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's get this outside and yeah, get this puppy tuned up. All right, here's what I've got so far. It's temporary. I only put the first section on. I marked it, so I'm not up here trying this out with, uh, you know, all the antennas sticking up and wobbling in the wind. So, all right, gonna be temporary here. Got that uh, put on that old TV mast, and uh, yeah, it's pretty secure. Good enough for testing. It's all testing, and then the weather gets a little bit better, makes it a little bit more permanent. Get a uh, longer mast there. And, and button things up but all right on the next step i'll get the uh rest of the radiating element slide it down in there i'll be back all right there she is in all her glory all right let's get uh just a little bit of test coax run and run across the roof here just enough there's only there's only testing purposes and uh just nothing maybe Get on the air at least at least get the uh, antenna analyzer on it get the rig expert on but all right all right here we go on to the next all right step. in true redneck fashion i got it connected <laughs> it's kind of totally temporary the hard work is done this guy everything kind of zip tied haphazardly around there just enough to uh get tuned up a little bit and see where we're at once again there's that and then uh, I'm going to have to get on the horn with DX Engineering and get uh, a longer run of coax. But right now, got it. Uh, something I just uh, laid across the roof here. Just gently wire tied, zip tied gently to the ridge vent. Plus, in the ridge vent comes down there. Hang on here. Oh my god, this is the uh, exercise of stupidity. There's ice everywhere, snow on the roof. I'm up here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to kill myself. All right now, it's just a barrel connector. Yeah, well, not the best way to do it. Like I said, it's just gently... I'm going to put one more zip tie in there, just so it doesn't flop around the wind. Just enough to have a little bit of fun experimenting. 
uh, you know, during the winter here. So, all right, then get down in there and see how she is <laughs> on the antenna analyzer. All right, I'll be back. all right, here we are, nice, comfortable, and cozy down in the shack here. I mean, technically, I should be taking these measurements uh, out near the feed point, but I do not feel like getting back up on that ladder on a snow and ice covered roof. No, this this is good enough. <laughs> good enough until spring. So there you are. You, you all saw how haphazardly I slapped everything up there. Good enough to get me through winter. So, all right, you know what? I'm going to go over to the uh, my transceiver there and see what kind of numbers it says. Compare them to these. So, all right, I'll be back. Okay, I already uh, checked everything. Being as clear. Any of these little spikes you see popping up, that's uh, some man-made noise going on in there. So let's scroll down to 28500. Oh, there we go. This is my sideband profile, in case you're wondering. Okay. I do a brief, or very brief key up uh, up here, upper right hand corner. I'll show you the forward power, and then I'll show you the SWR at that power at this frequency. All right, here we go. Forward power, very briefly. 19 watts, SWR. Okay, let's roll up to six, 2600, same thing, forward power, okay, SWR, okay, 27, 4 power, okay, SWR, still at a 1.0, okay, 20, 28800. For a power, drop the 18, SWR, okay, 1.2, okay, let's go up to, uh, yeah, 29, there we go, for a power, 16, SWR, 1.4. Okay, well, there you go. This has been the Crushcraft AR-10 project up here. Uh, <laughs> it's a fun little project, but uh, like I said, I kept saying it comes springtime. I'll get everything all all the way it should be. I kind of just slapped everything up there and see if it'll work. And, hey, <laughs> it's working. It's transmitting. So hopefully uh, coming up soon, I'll be, I'll be hitting the 10 meters, keeping that being alive. So with that said, thanks for hanging out with me, everybody. KP68, free and clear, click, click.